Bonjour les élèves. Bonjour. Bon, nous allons commencer avec... I have students with select a variety of technologies. In this particular project, I have students doing Movie Maker, um, other students doing PowerPoint, and other ones doing Prezi's. I was given the task this time to choose a francophone country and do a presentation for their class about the country. So they had to keep in mind their, their audience is going to be their classmates and present the country. And I asked them to particularly um, consider the visual impact of their presentation. So not so many words, lots of pictures, videos. But, uh, the students really enjoy doing this. They get to stand at the top of the classroom and show their own presentation, answer questions about it. And the other students then would usually have a form to fill out where they would note the name of the presentation, the students who did that presentation. And uh, two things, for example, that they would have learned from that presentation. And then they would also grade it in terms of style and content. Peer, peer assessment is a vital part of learning and afterwards when you go to, to work um, in, in the world of work that's what happens you work collaboratively and you have peer assessment you don't get tested three times a year really um, it represents the real world more um, a prezi is um, a little bit like a very cool and jazzed up version of powerpoint it's an online uh, presentation so you sign up to an online a website, Prezi.com. It's free as a teacher or a student to sign up. And um, it's a, a presentation that pans across a large plane. Um, so you can focus in on a, a small item, you can focus out, and it's zooming. It's called a zooming presentation. From the student's point of view, it, it's very cool. It's really easy to use, and um, you can put lots of stuff on it like videos and music and pictures and like obviously the information you want to put on it. It's easier to do than just keep like tabbing out and searching and stuff and all. You, you have to look it up and proofread it and that so you find out if there's any spelling mistakes or not. A PowerPoint is basically a slideshow. Um, you can add music, you can embed video in it as well. And um, the other one was Movie Maker which is on the computers here in school. It's free with most recent versions of Windows and it's basically a movie. Using ICT is fabulous for differentiation in the classroom and our junior cycle classes are mostly mixed ability like most schools and by using ICT the students can work at their own pace. They can work in groups, it's very, very suitable for group work and collaborative work. The learning is much more independent and as a teacher I feel more that I'm facilitating the class and their learning in their own way, at their own time. And students can be learning very different things, doing very different things within the same classroom. Our students in secondary school now are what we call digital natives. And they have grown up in the digital age. Um, if you like, we're learning it as a second language sometimes, people of my generation. And if, but if we don't embrace that technology and we don't make school relevant to the students, they see stu a school as old-fashioned and not relevant and boring and slow, and it doesn't engage them. And we cannot have 21st century students in a 19th century classroom. 